Brother, break out already. I tell you, dodge the bullet. Don't get married to this guy. Get out. Hey yo, continue. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Zula Answers. I'm Brenda. And I'm Larry. And I know, sister, you're not new to this segment. Yes. But it's our first time hosting together. I'm quite excited what we have for today. Same. Uh, and just a uh, warning to y'all. Is it the what? Headphone? Earphone warning? Because uh, we are kind of loud. She is loud. I'm quite um soft. Shall we start? Oh yes, we shall. <laughs> so today's topic is mother-in-law stories. We will be reacting to them. And we need to rate them like out of five emojis. So okay. what emoji do you think is suitable for this? We have two. One angel, one devil. Oh. Ah, cause some other in law the devil. Ah. Some they very angel, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah. So what emoji should we use? Devil? Depends la, it depends on the situation. We need to decide on one. Okay la, devil, devil. <laughs> okay, devil. Okay. We will rate out of five devil, devil emojis. Let's go. Story number one is titled Don't Check Under the Bed. Wait, Ooh, hold on. It's like wow. a horror movie. What's right. going on? No, it sounds like a sex thing. Because got bed, ma. Oh. Babe. Oh my god. We are in Zula, you know. Oh. Zula got bed, confirmed sex. Wow. My girlfriend's parents recently were over for an overnight visit at our place to help support her and I, as I've been going through some health issues. We keep most of our king stuff underneath the bed or tucked away in a locked chest. Wow, so intense. Yes. So intense. <laughs> Under the premise of helping us clean, despite my girlfriend very explicitly asking her to stay out of our bedroom, her mum found the kinky stuff we stashed underneath the bed. We came back with my girlfriend's dad from an errand to pick up my prescriptions and get fresh air to our apartment in a mess. Sex toys, my straight jacket. What's a straight jacket? You know like, you know the mental hospital? Uh, uh, you know, they're like that. Oh, uh, oh uh, right, right, right. I think I should buy you one. Sex toys, my straight jacket, blindfolds, rope, etc. laid out on our bed with a bunch of our drawers tossed and turned to. Oh no! Oh my god, I feel bad for them already. Oh no! She called me a psychopathic cunt. Wait, what? She said that, the mother? For using those things on her daughter. My girlfriend informed her that it was the other way around and then my girlfriend's mum asked to speak to my girlfriend in private. My girlfriend asked me if she should go no contact with her parents but I didn't want to make that decision for her so I told her it was up to her. She wants to try to repair things but neither of us have a clue on how to. What should we do? Oh no. Um... Let me take a deep breath. Okay, okay ready? One, two, three. I mean like my thoughts for this one, right? I think first and foremost, like if you're a parent and your child asks you to not go to your inside the bedroom, like if you want to clean whatever, right? Please respect their privacy. It's like go and talk to your child mm. separately, you know, ex um ask her to explain what is happening and all these things. But I think when it comes to the king part of things, it's a little bit hard to explain, especially to the old folks. To like the conservative Correct. parents. Correct. Because yeah. like they are very used to like traditional stuff, you know. It's already 2023, you know what I mean? Like everything's evolving. As long as they're not doing anything wrong about mm. it, and I feel like kings are, will always be there. You know what I mean? You have your own kings, I have my own kings, we have all our own kings. Even your parents confirm got something they didn't yeah. make. Okay, don't don't make me you. think about it. Don't make me think about it. I don't want to know what my parents' kings are. I really don't think it was right for the mum to just throw everything out and just, yes. you know, like sort of out them Correct. in front of the dad. Oh, but yeah. they're asking what should they do. Okay, for me personally, I mm. feel continue whatever you are doing. If you have this king, it makes you happy. Yeah. Your relationship stronger, continue. Yeah, I personally find it very nice that the daughter, right, she didn't deny that it's a Correct. king. Correct. And she stepped up for her partner and said that, no, actually, it's my king. Yes. And I'm the one, you mm. know, like, getting her to mm. try out with me. Yeah. And she, like, really stood her ground there. Yeah. And, you know, these days, right, I think for the queer people out there, we've experienced a lot of, like, things and challenges in life. And I feel this is just another one of those challenges. Family is chosen. Mm -hmm. So, doesn't mean that if you're blood-related, then... You okay, must be like understand. very close. Yeah, yeah. Cause sometimes even though you're maybe genetically bound, <laughs> like not by choice, it doesn't mean that those people will support you for who you Correct. are. And if you think that it reached a point where they just don't make you the best version of yourself, yep. they don't accept mm, you for who you are, it's okay to make your own decision. Correct. Whether or yeah. not you want to remain close to your family or not. Moving forward, if you already don't want anyone to know, can we just lock it up or something in a safe? Yes. Right. Correct. Like, like 
avoid like having to explain to someone again because honestly you don't owe anyone explanation. Correct. Let's rate each story based on how ridiculous the mother ignore is. Okay. How about that? One, One two, two, three. 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 Okay. Yeah, I gave it a two because right, I feel like there's a resolution. Okay. okay. Let's go to story number two. Oh, two's company, three's a crowd. That's the title. My boyfriend, 20, male. Plan a vacation for him and I, 22, female. We stopped by his apartment to grab his stuff and his mom was there. She jumped in back seat of the car and began talking to him in Spanish. Okay, como estas? Hola, soy Dora. I don't speak Spanish, so not sure what was said. He explained to me that she was worried about us going on this trip because his car was old. Mm, what a loving mother-in-law. So he said he was going to convince her to let us go and they both went into his apartment to talk. He came back a few minutes later and she sat in the car again. This time with a huge backpack. <laughs> so like the mother-in-law is joining the trip. Wow. He said she began crying because of how worried she was and that she would be coming with us on the trip but that she would stay in a separate hotel room. He paid for the whole trip, so I don't know if I have the right to be upset. But we're two hours into the eight hour car drive. I've cried the whole time because I felt so overwhelmed. I find it weird that even though he's an adult, he let her completely change our vacation. And I'm worried that this may cause problems in the future. I know he loves her very much, but shouldn't he learn to say no to his mom? Am I overreacting? Oh my god, okay. Wow! This this, this is, is very interesting. I actually say. have a friend who shared with me a very, very similar story. Oh. My friend's partner is from a single parent family. Okay. So the mom like raised him up. La. Naturally, she will be very protective mm-hmm. over yeah. her son. There was once they decided to go on a couple trip. Like my friend and her boyfriend. I think the mom wanted to tag along because she was a bit lonely. And then they said, okay, no. As in, okay, oh. first time. But they stay in the same hotel room. Huh? Like, one room, three people? Yeah. But when they came back after that, the mother-in-law expected her to be invited to every trip moving forward. Oh my god. So that was god. an issue. Because you know, when you travel with your partner, you want one-on-one time. Correct. So Which very similar to this story. <laughs> Super similar. I don't think I can date someone who is like, Everything also must got, must got the mom, you know, must tell the mom, also, the mom. I cannot, I cannot. I think the mom is just being super protective. Yeah. And maybe um apart from being worried about their trip and that his car is old, right? Mm. Actually, that reason sucks. Eh. It really sucks. If you are worried about then the car, don't ask them then, to like, go then like, then rent a car for them or something. Yeah. Why yeah. so must you come along, right? Like if not, if anything happens, <laughs> you are in the car also. <laughs> If you really reach a point where you cannot get along with the mother-in-law and your partner isn't doing anything for you and he's just siding your mother-in-law all the way, I would say reconsider if you really cannot take it. If you have this kind of sticky mother-in-laws, when you're marrying the son, you're not just marrying the son, you're marrying the entire family. family. The responsibility is actually on him. So if he is not willing to listen to your problems and what you feel about the situation and and then speak to the mom, right? Then I really don't think he's a very good guy. <laughs> yeah. Time to read this story out oh, of five devil emojis. Uh, one, one, two, three. 3.5. Oh, why two? There's a few more like things that I wish that could have been inside the story. Yeah. It lacks context. That's why for me, 3.5. Okay. Next story. Alright, next story is titled Take Care of My Son. I, a 30 female, have been dating my boyfriend, 36 male, for about three years now. He has been living in my apartment, which I support exclusively as he's unemployed. Red flag! He's what? 36 already eh? Brother! Break out already! I tell you, dodge the bullet. Don't get married to this guy. Get out! Hiyo. Continue. It has been a bad time for him. He lost his job and is a bit depressed. And I do whatever I can to support him and help him. Okay. Do you feel depressed. bad now? Okay. Um. <laughs> but I'm currently working full time and taking classes on the site to enrich my resume and open more doors for my future. See, he's wow. hustling. He is sitting at home all day playing on his computer and totally ignoring me, our home and his whole life. I don't have a lot of time on my hands to keep up with chores or cook every day. Last night, we visited his folks and his mother took me aside and basically told me I'm a lesser woman for not taking care of her sweet son like a real woman should by cleaning and cooking for him every day like she did for him and her family. I told him to set her straight and tell her never ever to speak to me that way again. Now he's mad at me for disrespecting his mother. 
And of course, he told his mother everything and she's also mad and told him to dump me as I'm not good enough for him and their family. Go! Oh my god, don't he? Oh my god. Can I just say women are not meant to stay at home and cook dishes, wash, uh, cook food, wash dishes and all these things. Wow. Thank you, preach. Oh my god. The mother got problem, the son got problem. Babe, 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 listen. I dodged so many bullets in my life. <laughs> this one is the, I think it's one big bullet that you need to dodge already. Times have changed and some people from the older generation don't get that. We are who we are. We have dreams. Yes. We shouldn't be limited to just staying at home. Yeah. And I, I would say run. Run! Run! <laughs> away from this guy. Oh my god. Honestly girl, you have no fault here. Like, what the fuck? Like, he was unemployed, you took him in. And not only was he ungrateful, he still was not even active in looking for jobs, in trying to improve himself. This one got no resolution eh. The resolution is just like what Larry said, don't go and chase him. Yes, please lah. Don't think you're God or whatever. You cannot save this kind of guy already, I tell you. Let other girls save him lah. <laughs> we should rate this motherfucker. Oh, yes. This rating, right, will apply to both the son and the mother. Yeah. Yeah. One, one two, two, three, three five. five. Cause fuck them, right? Fuck them! Okay, the next story is mother-in-law mac and cheese. Oh, I love mac and cheese. Babe, this is sound like a food problem, right? Yeah. Like cooking problem, you know what I mean? <laughs> My husband, 30, male, and I, 28, female, have been married for two years. Together for five years and currently six months pregnant. Oh, oh my god, congratulations. congratulations! I have a very good relationship with my in-laws. And if any of us ever had a problem, we are able to talk it through. Except for one thing. My mother-in-law has her famous mac and cheese and that everyone in the family absolutely loves it. I, however, found it disgusting from day one. <laughs> but I didn't want to come off as rude and ungrateful so I pulled through it without saying anything. I told my husband about it and he said that his mother has been making it for decades. She would be deeply offended if anyone told her anything bad about her mac and cheese, so I should just find the right moment to tell her. He for some reason loves it, so he didn't want to be the other one to tell her. I totally understand because it is my issue and I had to deal with it. It's been almost two years of me pretending. Oh my god, sad. Like, Fuck! So two days ago, I decided to just tell her. It was a family dinner when my husband's parents had invited us over and of course, his mother was making her so-called famous mac and cheese. I almost threw up at the smell and I couldn't bear the thought of eating it. Probably because I was pregnant. Oh yeah, and when you're pregnant, you have specific yeah, cravings. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I don't like your mac and cheese. Everything else tastes delicious, but this is the one thing I simply cannot eat anymore. She looked so deeply offended and she literally snapped. Well, thanks for being honest. And didn't even look or speak to me for the rest of the evening. My husband was on my side and tried to speak to his mother, but all I know is that it didn't work because she had been cold to me ever since. Her perfecting the recipe ended up with this result. Mac and cheese combined with salmon, kimchi, pineapple, seaweed salad, Collard greens like leafy vegetables, onions and garlic. Ew! Hey. I don't have a problem with the greens or onion. Same. However, the reason why I think I might have been an asshole is because, like my husband said, she has been perfecting this recipe for years. Her entire family clearly loves it, and I tell her that her perfected and loved mac and cheese is terrible. Am I the asshole? Added context by OP. OP is French. Husband and family is Korean. Okay, if I were her, I would probably like take this to my grave. I don't dare to disappoint people. I don't think that's the healthiest answer, but that's honestly what I would do. In a traditional mac and cheese context, all the ingredients here doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, because I love mac and cheese, right? I love it too, man. And I have tasted fusion mac and cheese that tastes mm, good. Good. But what the fuck? Like, all these ingredients just don't taste good together. Just... Just pretend it's good lah. Just pretend it's Maybe nice. you where you say it's not nice. Oh, will you just no, eat it? No, I, I will just try then... Then it's not, not nice, right? Then, but I know she'll offer me and say, oh, I got like this. <laughs> oh! Then okay. you have to keep up the life forever, eh? I mean, I rather. <laughs> uh, I rather than to eat like disgusting mac and cheese for two years. Then she take out the fish? Then, okay, then maybe the... Like, like maybe she loves you yeah, so then much. Then, oh, actually, I don't like pineapple also, eh? Oh. Then, uh, then you slowly remove all the ingredients. <laughs> then I think it's just mac and cheese. Oh, actually, maybe this one I can share. Oh, this one my tummy feel better. Can, can. Ah! Asian parents, right? Once you say you're sick, right? They'll be, they'll panic. And yeah. they won't let you eat the thing that you makes you sick. So just say you cannot eat like 
mac and cheese ah, or like cheese in general or like dairy right. products yes okay that's wouldn't. the solution the solution here is whatever Larry suggested you cannot take back what you said but you can take this as an opportunity to better the relationship correct wow. okay gotta read this wow this is damn hard yeah. 1, 2, 3 4.5 four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because food, very food, sensitive. food is very sensitive. All right, we are done. We are oh. into all the stories today. Which one was your favorite? I, I feel like I have one already. My favorite one is a motherfucking guy. Yeah, same. Wow, cannot see, ah. That one is my favorite because it's so freaking ridiculous. The spoiled bread. Mummy's boy. Ungrateful. No plans in life. Complain so much. Jobless. Mm. Useless. I'm 36 maybe you haven't really figured out things yeah. out in life but at least do something you know what you say like slowly do something to like come up with a solution and with that we've come to the end of today's episode if you want to share any thoughts about the stories we reacted to today you can share them in the comments below and if you want to like you know share any confessions and you want us to react to them we have a link in the description box below you can submit them there and of course don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode bye, bye.